Built Rewards announcing it's raised $200 million in funding in a round led by General Catalyst. Built Rewards is a platform that partners with real estate owners and allows its users to earn points when paying their rent. With a new funding round, the company now valued at more than $3 billion. And joining us right now, first on CNBC, is Built Rewards founder and CEO, Anchor Jane, and Ken Chenault this morning, chairman and managing director at General Catalyst and the former CEO of American Express. He's just been appointed uh, chairman of the board of Built. Good morning to both of you. Morning. And this is super exciting, and it's super exciting for us in a way because I remember when you came and sat at this table when you first launched this company well, we were in 2017. About, we were talking about, if you remember in 2017, we were saying, how is it that Silicon Valley keeps pouring money into electric scooters at the time, right. crypto at the time, when you have the biggest housing crisis, the biggest healthcare crisis, the biggest student loan crisis, how do we solve some real problems? So this is one of those problems, but what's interesting is back then, I think you were probably running Amex right. at the time. Right. You were probably trying to sell him on back then. Well, it was a t getting a meeting with Ken, I mean, it, it, that's a hard meeting to get. <laughs> so we are, we are, I mean, it is surreal. As an entrepreneur, to go from that type of idea to getting to be here today, talking right. about having someone like Ken as our partner and chairman of the company. It's a pretty surreal moment. Okay, so for those who may not remember what we were talking about <laughs> in 2017, just explain what Built does for everybody. So look, rent is the single biggest expense for most people in this country. Right. You don't get anything back for paying rent every month. And so we said, why can't you earn points on rent just like you do on everything else, right? Earn airline miles, earn hotel points. And by the way, why doesn't paying rent build your credit and get you closer to home ownership. Yeah. And so today, you can pay with Built at any apartment in the United States, earn points and miles, build your credit. And the coolest part is we've now expanded that beyond just rent and said, you not only get rewarded on rent, but in your neighborhood, all these local restaurants, local grocery stores, coffee right. shops can now tap into okay. the loyalty platform. Explain the business model, though, because I think people are probably hearing you say, OK, all of a sudden you get rewards back. Yes. Who is paying for these? Who is paying for these <laughs> rewards? Right. So the amazing thing about this is you first look at rent. I mean, we're at almost 20 billion dollars a year spent. Right. Now you think about it, we are a payment processor for the rental buildings, just like Stripe is for all these e-commerce. So we make money on payment processing there. Right. But then as we go into the expanded merchant side of the local merchants, I mean, this is what Ken invented, right? If you can bring high value local residents to build loyalty in their neighborhood, I mean, rather than local restaurants running into an apartment building, putting up flyers, offering a 10% like discount. It's like Amex Rewards. So that's right. what you exactly. bring. Right. Yes. That theory. It has some similarities to membership rewards. But I think one of the important points here that I think can be transformational is if you think about commerce in the neighborhood, there's been no platform that, in fact, has put that all together to drive local commerce. Small biz, too? Small business, absolutely. Right. Small business benefits tremendously. It's one of the reasons why I'm excited is this is the first neighborhood loyalty platform. But, but, explain, but uh, let's go back to the math of it because yeah. I, I do want to understand 100%. The, the economics of it. So you're collecting a fee, a, a processing fee, a Correct. transaction fee every time. Correct. Which, which is what percent? Which is what percent? I mean, it depends on the type of payment method. You can pay by bank ACH. You can pay okay, by check. Okay, but are we talking between one and a half and three percent? Are we talking Amex style? I mean, Amex was three percent. Mastercard it, was lower. Obviously. It really depends if you pay by yeah. Amex or pay by Visa or pay by Mastercard. If you pay with your bank, what's the lowest you can get? That's right. So you yeah. and so you get different levels what, of points. What's the rate for the lowest if, if you pay by it, bank? It depends on the landlord too and the property owner. But just like Stripe and any other but, payment process. But hold on, but, but, but go back. But no, it's not no, no. So this, 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 this is important. So like, important piece. When you go to like a local merchant. Right. right today, instead of giving say like a ten percent local discount to bring in local customers on those off hours, off days. They can say, like with American Express, but hey, we want to focus on the neighborhood. And if you come in, we can, we can fund 2.5% or 5% in rewards and, and introduce our business to all those people moving into the neighborhood every month. So think about this. Half of renters move every year. So you have all these people moving out of the neighborhood every year. And these merchants, these small business owners, have no way to get in front of them. So now you can be in front of everybody when they move into the neighborhood. You have a right. plug and play loyalty platform, and instead of giving the 10% local discount, you spend a quarter of that, right? And you actually attract the local residents through right. recurring rewards for coming in, and all the points they've earned on rent can now be spent at that local business, right? Right. And okay. that's what drives here's, that. here's the part that I'm trying to understand yeah. on the math, okay? 
my understanding, I, I have a, a, a Platinum American Express card, sir. I pay <laughs> something Thank on you. the order of $700 a, a year now for, for that card. <clears throat> and then, so Amex is getting my 700, was it 700, 750? I don't know what it is now. You don't it's remember It's been anymore. six years, okay. but <laughs> maybe more. But maybe more, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they're getting 3%, I think, something on the order of 3% on every transaction, right? That, that, that's I'm not going to comment okay. on that. Okay. But that's, <laughs> that's, that's the math of, how that, of yeah. how that works and why that makes sense. So that when they give me, and then they go to an Uber and they say, give us, totally. give us some, you know, $200 worth of, of Uber rides because they know that then I'm going to do 100%. more. Okay. We, yeah. we understand. So, and, and, and there's a discount on those Uber rides, so they're actually giving give Uber some money for that privilege. Okay. Right. Yes. Same thing with when they're going to go that's off exactly and pay right. for the airlines. Okay. So I go to, a, I'm now renting in a related building. I'm making yep. that up, I, I, I own. But I, I'm going to rent in a related building. That's right. Okay. Related is going gonna, is gonna to pay you? So when you're payment processing, either the landlord pays for some of the fees. Right. Or sometimes the consumer pays, or sometimes the bank pays. Right? Okay. And so, I'll explain that. The bank is going to pay the so, fees? So, for example, when you have an Amazon credit card, right. you use it on Amazon.com for a 5% cash back. Yes. Chase Bank pays for that. Right. So if you have a built card and you're using it in an apartment building, the banks can fund these extra rewards as part of the value prop. If you're using a American Express card, either the landlord will pay for that fee right. or the consumer might pay for that but fee. But I think I, it, my original conception of this was something that was going to help with affordable housing and help people build their credit score. Okay. What you're describing is something very different. He's asking about the higher I know, but what so. you're describing is something very different. It, I think it's evolved. It's probably a better business proposition than it was before, but maybe less also, useful for helping no, the people so Becky, who are at so the bottom end of the scale. So affordable housing right. all the way through ultra luxury. But like not a, small housing, which no, is where a lot No, small housing, of, too. Now, you can use it at any apartment. Like, if building. I have a property yes. that's a rental property, I Somebody can sign can up Somebody can use Belt right. to pay your rent. Absolutely. In fact, when they pay their rent through the Belt platform, you can either accept that payment then as a check that we then mail to you, or right. through if you have an online But, here's what I'm trying but to it understand. costs more. It, right. it, it is, increases the I mean, I'm going to go to Ken on this, because I, okay. I, I apologize. Right. Okay. You decided this company is worth $3 billion. Right based on some kind of mathematical formula right. about how much they're earning and what the future of this... Okay, Expl I'm going to ask you to explain it because I st I, unfortunately we still yeah. don't understand yeah. it. With what, so is it... Is, I, I'm, I now, let, let's just pretend I'm related. Okay, right. you come to me and you say, hey, uh, we, we want a process for you. Yep. Okay. And I say to you, okay, I'd be very happy for you to process for me. How much are you charging me? Related pays for payment processing today. Right. ACH fees. They pay check cashing fees. Right. They pay card fees when you pay your rent. Instead of that being our core business, that we're trying to generate huge margin on that, right. you can turn that into rewards for the customer that they can then use for airline miles, hotel I understand, but somebody, got, somebody has to pay for those. That, that, pay, that is already happening today. But everybody else's business is just to keep that. So Related is already paying for payment processing before built using yeah, legacy. The key, key thing here, right. yes. yeah, but the Which key is thing here at the end of the day is... Right. The, the building, yep. right, everyone converts to the built payments platform. platform. And they're paying a service fee for that. So the same way they used to pay for their legacy platform that gave none of that back to the renter, right. they now pay those same fees. No, but if somebody fees. wrote me a check, a, a personal check, there'd be no fee on that. Correct. So then you get less rewards on that check payment, right? Exactly. So when you pay electronically, where there is a fee right, that's but paid okay, for so It sounds like fee. there's two businesses here. It, help me. There's the platform fee, so the software fee that I'm going to pay you to use, right? Payment processing fee. Payment processing, a, a fee per transaction. I'm not paying you some kind of other fee on top of that Correct. as a building? Correct. Okay, what am I paying you as a building? I'm a, I'm a landlord. We have a lot of landlords who are yeah. watching the show. They may want to work with you or not. How much it's, are, they, are you charging the them? It the same that they currently pay for any other payment processing platform they use. And that's different, just like every enterprise deal has slightly different but Most terms. of them don't usually allow you to pay with credit cards, they historically. All, all the online payment centers do. They do? And sometimes they pass that fee on to the customer. Sometimes yeah. they take it themselves. And, and the key is, Built has more than 50% right. of the top 50 <coughs> real estate Landlords. companies, okay. all right? So, and are they exclusive to you? When you, when a property, yes, is a short answer. All the properties that use built. So I can't pay with a check and not get you, charged to be part of the program? It just goes through built. Yeah, no, no, but it goes, it goes, it goes through the built payment. Everything but do, that, do I get charged a fee for writing a personal check through built? You do not as a, as a customer, no. Right. So it doesn't, it, it's not going to be 1% of my rent. It's the exact same as it is today. No, you no. do not pay for that as a okay, customer. If I,